Welcome to Film Snap Recap. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel. It will only take a second. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Mike O'Donnell Zac Efron, a popular senior in high school, appears to have it all. When he decides to give it up to settle down with his high school sweetheart Scarlett, who is pregnant, he is a star athlete who is on track to receive a college scholarship. Mike played by Matthew Perry discovers that his life is not precisely what he anticipated 20 years later as an adult. His work at a pharmaceutical business is at a standstill, he is divorced from his wife Scarlett Leslie Mann, and he is living with his wealthy software genius geek, best friend Ned Friedman Thomas Lennon. He also has no relationships with his adolescent children. He returns to his high school to reflect on his basketball achievements and the life he may have had after being passed over for yet another promotion at work. He is reliving his golden days when a janitor approaches him and tells him how much better things were when he was 17 years old. Mike spots the enigmatic janitor standing on the brink and getting ready to leap into the Los Angeles River as he is making his way home from the high school. When Mike arrives, the janitor is gone, despite his hasty exit from his car to save him. Mike is going to tumble into the river and transform into his 17-year-old self, but he is unaware of this. Young Mike Zach Efron makes a strenuous attempt to persuade Ned that he is Mike when he returns to Ned's home. Lacking any other options, Ned assumes the role of Mike's father and enrolls Mike in high school to complete the life he was never given the chance to live. Mike faces several fresh obstacles in high school, including how to look stylish, stay current with technology, and make new friends. However, nothing beats attending high school with his own kids. He learns that his son, Alex Sterling Knight, is the target of the star athlete's jokes, and that his daughter, Maggie Michelle Trachtenberg, is not nearly as innocent as he believed she was. The worst conclusion for Mike, though, is that he hasn't been a very good spouse or father. Mike makes friends with Alex and works to give him the self-assurance he needs to join the basketball team. He becomes friendly with Maggie's annoying boyfriend and makes every effort to separate the two of them. Most importantly, he meets an unassuming Scarlet and recalls all the reasons why he fell in love with her in the first place. Over time, Mark comes to understand that the real reason he has been given another shot in life is so that he may help his kids and try to win Scarlet back. He becomes acquainted with Alex and learns that Alex's youngster has tremendous basketball talent and is an effortless three-point shooter. He works with Alex to improve his other skills in order to make the squad and land the girl of his dreams. Scarlet is astounded by how much Mark's new friend, Alex, resembles her ex-husband in 1989 as they practice shooting baskets together every day at Alex's home. Scarlet starts working with Mark to plant her backyard in an effort to launch a landscaping company. He has a newfound respect for her abilities, yet he frequently approaches her or makes physical contact with her in ways she feels are improper for an adult lady and an adolescent boy. Additionally, he consoles Maggie after Stan dumps her because she won't put out, he promises her that one day she'll meet a man who would value her in the manner she deserves, but he is horrified to learn that Maggie is beginning to believe that man to be him. He informs her that he is in love with someone else and cannot commit to her. Although Mark contributed significantly to the basketball team's comeback victory, Alex hit the game-winning three-pointer. Since the first time he visited Jane, the high school principal, in her office to enroll his son, Ned has been smitten with her. But his nerdy attempts to impress her have only served to repulse her. Finally, she agrees to join him for dinner the same night that Mark has announced a party at his house to celebrate winning the game in exchange for him purchasing laptops for every kid in the school. Mark only notifies a select few people about the party, but the entire school shows up and texts everyone about it. Until Ned eventually concedes that he's always been a loser with women, their romantic meal won't progress. He's just a geek who is totally into the Lord of the Rings. He notices that she is also a Lord of the Rings enthusiast when she gently grins and begins speaking to him in Elvish, one of the languages from the film. When Ned and Jane return to his house for romance following a sensual talk in Elvish, they discover Mark's party is absolutely out of hand and there are hundreds of youngsters everywhere. Additionally, Scarlet is there seeking for Alex and Mark can't help but try to kiss her in front of everyone. Because of how strongly he feels for her, Mark follows Scarlet while claiming that he is her husband and the father of her children. Scarlet is outraged and slaps him before running away. 
because Mark had previously admitted to her that he was secretly in love with someone. Maggie and her pals are shocked to see him attempting to kiss her. Ned informs Mark that the hearing for Mike O'Donnell's final divorce decree with Scarlett is in 20 minutes, and they rush to the courtroom the next morning as they clean up the chaos from the party. When Mark claims that he is there to hear a letter that Mike has written to his wife, Ned, who is acting as Mike's attorney, orders them to leave. Scarlett agrees to hear the letter, and when Mark reads it to her, she is astounded by the emotional force of his voice and the details about their romance that only her husband could have known. Mark ends by adding that because he loves her so much and can tell that she no longer wants him in her life, he is happy to let her go. Scarlett seems to be the last thing Mark has left for him, so he makes an effort to put her out of his mind and focus on basketball in order to get the scholarship and attend college. When Scarlett is going through her high school yearbook on the day of the championship game, as the game is about to start, Mark sees Scarlett in the bleachers. He blows her a kiss, using a gesture identical to the one Mike had used in 1989 when he was playing in the same championship game and saw her standing by the bleachers. Scarlett finally realizes that Mark really is her husband. Somehow turned 17 again. She realizes all the reasons she loved him then and still loves him, but she knows she can't possibly make her life together with a 17-year-old boy. Also, she realizes that knowing she's there in the bleachers watching him could put him in the same situation as before, and she can't risk making him lose his college scholarship again. She leaves, going down the same corridor she used when she left the game in 1989. Just like he did in 1989, Mark sees Scarlett leaving, forgets about the game, and leaves. As he sprints down the hallway after Scarlett, he gives the ball to Alex and declares that this time it is his turn. In the audience, we catch a glimpse of the enigmatic janitor grinning. And by the time Mark catches up to Scarlett, he is once more Mike O'Donnell as an adult. Mike admits to Scarlett that he has messed up his marriage because he has been bitter at her for the past 20 years because she denied him the opportunity to attend college. However, he has now come to the realization that his family is the only thing that matters to him, and he begs for another chance. A few days later, Mike goes to Ned's house to get his stuff and return his key. He finds Ned in bed with Jane, both of them wearing elf ears. Mike thanks Ned for all he's done, and Ned gives Mike a parting gift, a whistle for his new job, because Jane has made Mike the new coach of the high school basketball team. Thanks for watching.